Hey guys, it's Aiden here from Core Electronics, and today we're going to take a look at the Arduino Uno, the entry level board from Arduino. Now, if you're just getting into electronics and you want to learn how to interface with the world around you, the Uno is a great place to start, with the entire environment being extremely easy to understand and learn. The environment goes well beyond the board as well. The board was designed on an open source license, and the community contributes tons of free tutorials, examples, and libraries regularly. A big part of getting started with the Arduino is learning to code, and you learn the best way possible by trying things out and seeing what works. The IDE, which is free to download, makes all the coding and debugging as simple as possible for beginners. I'm going to give you guys a quick overview of the board, and then we'll get started on learning something simple, the hello world of Arduino, the LED blink. So we've got the Arduino Uno board here. It might look a little confusing at first, but let's just take a closer look. So the Uno is a microcontroller board, and it runs on the Atmega328 chip, which is this chip you can see here. The chip is removable, just in case you happen to destroy it, and you can pick up a replacement online for a couple of dollars. Along each long edge of the board, we can see the 2.54mm pin headers that make it super simple to connect jumper wires up and prototype your, your circuits. That's these ones here. The pin headers might also make stacking shields easy, because you can literally just plug them straight in on top. Along the front side of the board, We've got a reset switch, which you can use to start your program from the top. We've got a female mini B connector, just for connecting up your uh, Uno to your PC. And we've also got a DC barrel jack adapter, which is this thing here. Now the barrel jack can be used to power your board with a nine to 12 volt power supply. And it's really helpful when you need to power your board away from a PC. Now let's take a closer look at these headers so we can see what they're all, what they're all used for. We've got the SDA and SCL, and they're used for I2C communication. The AREF pin can be really helpful when measuring finer analog voltages. We've got a ground pin and then 13 digital I.O. pins. Some of them have a little squiggly line beside them, which means that they're enabled for pulse width modulation, or PWM. But we'll get into that in a later video. Now these digital I.O. pins are what we're going to be using to control our LED. We're going to move on to the other side of the board now, and we can see that we have two separate headers. We've got the power header here and the analog header. So the power header can be used to power your board or to power your circuit that's connected to your board. We'd use the voltage in pin here to power our board or we could use the 3.3 volt or the 5 volt outputs to power our circuits. Now the analog header has six pins that can be used to read analog signals and they'll typically read a signal between 0 and 1023. It can be great if we're reading a signal that isn't just on or off, but we're not going to do that today. We tend to see the Arduino Uno paired up with some accessory components, and that makes the experience that you have with it super fun and educational. If you wanted to see some of these kits, take a look at our range and check out all the lessons and content they come with. Alright, let's get started on the LED Blink, which means we're going to need to install the Arduino IDE. It provides you with all the tools you'll need to program your Uno, so head over to Arduino's website in the links below you'll find that, and download the installation files for your operating system and get it set up. Once you have it set up, go ahead and open a new sketch. So we're going to open ours up now. Now the sketch is the name that we give an Arduino program. You can see we have the typical options along the top of the workspace and that's new and open and safe. But we also have these other two options, verify and upload. So verify will check your code for errors and upload will send it to your board. Typically we'll write our sketch out, verify it, fix any problems and then upload it to our board and see if it's working. The first thing that we'll need to do before we start writing our sketch is just initialize the board. So we follow the, these couple of steps to do that. Go ahead and click on the tools bar up the top and head down to boards. When you're in boards, make sure that you've got Arduino set up, the Arduino Uno set up, which is this one here, and make sure you've got the port selected. So I can see that mine's plugged into COM11 there. All right, now we know that our computer knows where to send our code. Let's start writing some. So to start off with our sketch, we'll figure out what we're gonna be doing. I said we're gonna blink an LED, and the idea is to just do that. Just blink an LED on and off. And we've got the onboard LED here just for that purpose. We need to tell our Arduino which pin LED we'll be con connecting it to, and we'll tell it how to treat that connection. Then we'll tell it to turn it off and on. The setup function, which we can see here, will run once at the start of our setup. And today, all we need to do is tell it that there's a pin connected to an LED, which is pin 13. So, and we need to tell the IDE that that pin will be used as an output. So we're going to use the pin mode to do that. So pin mode, bracket 13, so pin 13, and we'll set it up as an output 
finish the brackets, and put the semicolon at the end. Now we've got that set up, the Arduino is going to know that there's something connected to pin 13, and we're going to use the digital write function to do the on and off. We'll head down to our loop section. Like I said, we're going to use a digital write, so we're going to digitally write it high or low, high for on, low for off. So digital write, write, pin 13, high, semicolon, always terminate your lines with a semicolon. Next, we're going to delay that for a second. So what we're going to do is hold that pin high for a certain amount of time. We're going to use it one second for our timing today. So delay by 1000, finish it with a semicolon. We're going to do the same thing, so that'll turn it on for a second. Now we're going to turn it off for a second. So digital write, 13, low, low, and we'll also delay that for a second. So essentially what our code will do is it will go, there's something connected to pin 13 and it's an output. It'll then move into the loop, it'll turn it on, it'll delay it for a second, it'll turn it off, it'll delay it for a second, it'll finish that loop and go back to the start. Everything's looking pretty good, so I'm gonna verify that one. I'm gonna save that there. We wait for it to compile, writing it into machine code. And once that's complete, so that's complete, it's done compiling, we've got a bunch of white text in the bottom here. We're gonna upload that to the board. So click upload. So we're uploading to our board. Let's go and have a look at our board and see what's going on. All right, so we can see that our board just started blinking that LED and it was really as easy as that. We've just learned how to program our first program with the Arduino. It was a lot of fun. I hope you guys liked the video. If you have any ideas for future videos on Arduino, please let us know. If you like the video, let us know. If you want any more educational content on Arduino or Raspberry Pi or anything maker friendly, jump on our web onto our website, Core Electronics, and have a look around. Thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you have a great day.